we are back. It's Will and Kelsey with uh, Colorado Talk. We're back, we're here. We're at Briar Common Brewery in the Highlands in Denver. It's delicious. So today we're talking about uh, the top reasons to live in Colorado, in Denver. This is a great place to live. Everybody and their mom knows y'all are moving here. So we just want to highlight a few reasons why we like being here. Yeah, I mean, about the last 10 years, about a, almost a million people have moved here, which is a crazy amount. The whole state has about 5.7 million people. So that's a lot, you know. Now, I moved here about 10 years ago. But no, actually it's 20. So I guess I didn't start the wave. I don't know when it started the wave. Well, maybe I do. So one of the awesome things about Colorado, where you want to see where our population really started shifting, would be, and I'll just start with this one, marijuana. Yeah. Right? So about 10 years ago, we started seeing marijuana legalized in our state and definitely changed some stuff here. Um, you know, we've had a lot of business opportunities because sure. of it. Yep. We've had a lot of people move here because they wanted to experience that type of culture, whatever works for you, you know? Yeah. You know, there's even a street in Denver, it's South Broad, where they call it the Green Mile because there's so many dispensaries. I don't doubt that. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's part of what kicked off that huge Definitely. explosion, you know? Yeah. But um, another friend of mine, he always said, you know, we talk about beer, we have marijuana micros, like microbreweries. Yeah, right? 100%. That's probably my like top three favorite reasons to live in Colorado is the breweries. I went to school up in uh, Fort Collins and they have one brewery after another. I know Denver has like almost 150 different breweries and then Colorado has over 400 breweries. So if you need micro brews, we are here, we are loud, we are proud. Yeah, and if you're smart, you go out somewhere and you do a. Uh, what do we get? What do we get here? This is called the. Uh, what do they call this? The a flight. flight. A flight of beer. So four different ones to try. Super so, exciting. Real nice times there. They get really creative too. This is a mix between a Belgium and a sour. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Have you tried it yet? I have. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. I wanna. I want you to try this one before I try it. It's the spicy one I was telling you about back at it again with the spices. Just wait for it. Oh god, it does burn. It burns. It's so good. I don't good. know, you like that? Yeah, it's my favorite. I don't know about that. I've been here like three times this week. Do you drink more than one? No. Because it burns. Yeah, like, it's I deep. I only need this four ounces, but I'm very happy about this four ounces. No, no, not mine. <laughs> I, I will stick to a Belgian beer over that. No. They way. have other options if you don't like spicy. No. Yeah. We had the micros, we had the marijuana. Yes. And the third M that I've always heard was the mountains. Yeah, the mountains. 100%. You can do anything in the mountains. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. We have a ridiculous amount of activities in the mountains. Uh, I mean, like skiing right now. You can go camping year round. Name it hiking. We have 14ers for days. We've got 32 different ski resorts. Yeah. 32. So if you get kicked off on one mountain and they don't like you there, just, just go, go to the, the next, next mountain. You're totally good. It's fine. Totally good. You know, for $600, I got access to like five different mountains on my ski pass. It's incredible. It's awesome. Incredible, you know? What's your favorite? My favorite ski mountain is probably Copper or Brackenridge for different reasons, but they're both really good mountains. Copper's, what about you? Copper's my favorite. Copper? Hands down, yeah. I was raised on Crystal View. It's cool. It's far away. It's like really far away from here, like eight hours. But copper is a hundred percent. I love copper so much. And they have really good back bowls. Yeah. You know, if you take that T-bar up there, mm -hmm. the T-bar is hard to ride on a snowboard. So yeah. all the bad snowboarders don't even make it up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. On skis, it's easy. You scrape between your legs. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, but we have we have the mountains. And the great thing too about the mountains, I have skied in the morning and golfed in the afternoon. Mm. It's crazy. You can do yeah. it all here in one day. Yeah. The other thing with the mountains is you always know north, south, east, and west. Like, you'll never get lost. I don't know if you've ever been to the Midwest, but... Every like, direction looks the same to me. Where are you going? Nobody knows. I'm and from Florida. You don't know. Well, you're at the beach, you don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. But here, you see the mountains. That's west you know, every time. You know, yep. Whenever on the few days that there is bad weather and you can't see the mountains, you still get lost. So, and it's okay. On top of having awesome mountains, we also have four national parks, right? Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, you got Rocky, Mas Rocky Mountain National Park, Pikes Peak National Park, White River National Park, and I'm blanking on the fourth, but I know there's a fourth. There's four of them. 
there are four. So good times in the mountains here. Yep, for sure. Yeah, if you want to push yourself hard, you climb to the top of one and it gets to 14,000 feet plus and there's no oxygen, but it's a blast. Bring a beer with you and have it on top. It's really fun. And don't forget your cardboard to say, I climbed this mountain. That's important. Yep. That's important. Been there, done that. That's <laughs> really sad. But speaking of the weather, we have a, almost a guaranteed 300 days of sunshine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you guys, I woke up this morning, I had about five inches of snow in my driveway, and now it's about 35 degrees and sunny and gorgeous out there. The snow's already melted off the road. So if you hate snow, don't worry, it melts quick here. It's gone. It, it's gone in days. Yeah, yeah most of the snow is up great. in the mountains where you want it, not down here where you right. have to deal with it on a daily basis. Yeah. But if you want to play with it, you can go. Right now. But you don't have to. But it's pretty warm. You wouldn't even need a coat. I've snowboarded in a t-shirt. Have you ever done that? No. Spring skiing? It's fun. I believe it. Yeah, but we had the awesome weather. And then the great thing is I grew up in Florida. Where Florida, we have hot or hotter than hell. Those were our two seasons. That was it. Here you have four seasons. Mm -hmm. They may be quick sometimes, sometimes but we have all yeah, four. Yeah, sometimes even in one day. That's correct. Yeah. I've gone from a 15 degree day to 60 degrees the next day. Yeah. They say in Colorado, if you don't like the weather, you just wait five minutes because it'll change. And that is so true. Very it's true. ridiculous. So awesome weather. We got awesome outdoor activities. What else we got in Colorado? I really like our work-life balance. I feel like that? I feel like like okay, so booming market, right? Everybody like we have job opportunities for days, but then when you get off work for somebody who doesn't like outside, like myself, there's so many things to do. We have the Denver Art Museum, we have the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, mm -hmm. we have the Denver Performing Arts Center. Um, what else do we have? Colorado oh. Contemporary Museum. Yeah, we have. We also have five of the major sports teams. So we have basketball, football, soccer, baseball, hockey. hockey. We have them all. We also have lacrosse, indoor and outdoor. So not major that. sports, but sports. Right. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, and um, I mean Red Rocks, which is probably a reason all to itself, but. Yeah. Red Rocks is fire. So if you have been to Red Rocks, I don't know if y'all know what Red Rocks is. So it is a concert venue, holds about 10,000 people. So we have more intimate concerts there, you know, yep. with all the big names. The Beatles played there back in the 60s. I saw Tom Petty there a few years ago. I've seen big headliners and small people there. Yep. And over the, over the top of the stage, you just see this beautiful skyline of Denver. It's a natural theater made out of these huge red rocks. And that's where it gets the name. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's also, I mean, there's, they do other activities. They do like yoga on the rocks. Um, you know, I've been there with groups of friends before and just ran up the stairs for exercise. It's, it's an insane place to see. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. And you forgot to mention our zoos. We have oh, yeah. two amazing zoos. One in Denver, downtown. It's great. Mm -hmm. Huge. It's great. It's got this huge loop that you just get to walk around and see everything. Yep. And if you're down to Colorado Springs, they have a really good zoo as well where you get to actually feed the giraffes and all this stuff. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Nothing like giving lettuce to a giraffe. Right. You know. So what else do we have? We got our sunshine. We got our Red Rocks. All the fun activities. Oh, well, here we are at a great restaurant. So we have a great booming food um, scene out here, you guys. I've been here since 2003. When I came out to Denver, you know, really the best foods were steakhouses. It was kind of boring and kind of bland. But we have developed into a foodie city. Um, the amount of farm-to-table restaurants is just yep. absurd. And Absolutely. then all the different options you have, whether it's outdoor dining, indoor dining, I mean, it's all here. Yep. Even, it's amazing, like, through COVID, um, the amount of like changes that all these restaurants have made so that you can still outdoor dine still in the winter is just awesome like they've just been on top of it and you've still been able to enjoy the city for what it is absolutely absolutely yeah. you know, what other big things do we have we're also a very healthy state i feel like all of that has like added up to being a super healthy state um so we have the outdoor activities we have the healthy food options um, in fact, Colorado is actually the skinniest state, so wow. I'm pretty sure if you move here, the pounds just melt off. Yeah, I mean... I think when, that's how it works. I mean, because when you're here, you want to engage in the outdoor activities. Yep. There's so much sunshine, so you're always outdoor, getting yep. that lovely vitamin B inside of you. D. D? B or D? <laughs> it's D. Well, vitamin D inside of you, right? Sorry, yeah. I'm not a nutritionist. But, uh, you know, and then you get to all these fun activities to do. One thing I've noticed about Coloradans is we're doers. You don't know what people like to sit around on the weekends. There's always activities For to sure. do. For you sure. know, absolutely. Yeah. We get it done. 
We do, we do. So let's just kind of review what we love about Colorado. Outdoor activities, they are bountiful. There are so many. So whenever, you know, it's the weekend and I've got a one-year-old and a three-year-old and you just have a- I have a dog. You have a dog and a 28-year-old boyfriend. Yes. So between the two, you've got your hands full as well, right? But there's always activities, right? Whether it's kid activities or adult activities, all different yeah. levels, right? So we love that, outdoor activities. Great indoor stuff. Yep. Not just the cultural stuff she talked about. I can tell you, in terms of kids, I went to a lovely trampoline place last Saturday with my son. Oh, cool. I burned about 5,000 calories yeah. in an hour jumping on trampolines. Yeah. So much fun. Yep. Um, you know, and then we have the lifestyle and all those different pieces. And the weather, man. The mountains can't beat it. Well, I hope this shines some light on Colorado for you. What's awesome about it? I mean, this is just a very small sampling. There's way more. But I'd say this is the top, I don't know, I didn't really count, but I don't know, eight or nine reasons to be in Colorado? Yeah, Is that sure. fair? It's amazing. If you're not sold on it by now. Man, I came here come. 21 years ago and I ain't leaving. Same, 25 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, it was great talking to you guys about Colorado and why we love it and why we love living here. Tell us why you like Colorado. Yeah, comment, let us know. Yeah, or why you don't like Colorado. Yeah, that's that's another thing too, yeah. Like it, share it. Thanks for your support. We appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.